with you guys i lost 10 kg in six months like i'm not even done yet the goal is to weigh um 66 kg currently i'm weighing 76 so i still have 10 more kg to go and making this video is just basically documenting my journey so okay, if you I'm want watching. to join me on this journey subscribe hi guys welcome to my channel my name is gc and if you're new here you're welcome this is basically a fitness weight loss beauty lifestyle um helping upcoming makeup artists channel if there's anything like that from the title you guys already know what i'm talking about and i'm just going to jump right into it guys i've been on the weight loss journey 24th of this month is actually going to make it nine months since i started my weight loss journey you guys it's been amazing and making this video is a big deal and the bigger deal is that you guys i, I lost weight and i've been maintaining it like so i plan to make this video really short but there are like a lot of things to talk about you guys so first off i'm going to tell you guys why i still losing the weight because your why is very important i decided to lose weight during lockdown because you guys i added a whole lot of weight during lockdown i added a whole lot of weight and i didn't even know because during lockdown you guys that is when when they just said because i'm based in nigeria they just announced okay there's going to be lockdown maybe starting on monday i went to the market i went to buy carton of gala carton of capuzon carton of you guys hobnobs like i bought a lot of junk all i was doing netflix i mean it was it's a freaking pandemic so i was netflixing eating eating indomie you know how during the pandemic like your sleeping pattern is like rubbish so i was just eating any and everything you guys thinking about it now like what was i even thinking for like two months i was eating rubbish and i woke up one day and i had pain in my waist area so this is not your usual waist pain this was connected to my spine you guys my spine stayed paining me and trust me to check google i check google if anything is wrong with you do not check google because google will just tell you that you're about to die like the next day so i checked google and they were like oh um it's obviously weight if you don't have any underlying sickness is weight loss um is this is that is sorry is weight you've added over your overweight or your obese for it to affect your spine and you would have to it, if it affects it too much and you don't do something about it you will most likely not work you will just be on bed rest for the rest of your life what <laughs> bed what so i was like nope 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 you see you have to do something so i was just in my room like thinking i didn't tell anybody okay I, I complained to everybody my mom and everybody about the whispering but i didn't tell anybody anything about what i checked google for so i was just telling everybody i want to lose weight i want to lose weight i want to lose weight i mean in my house they already knew that I was not even bothered about my weight. Like, my weight never bothered me. Like, call me fat, call me anything. I had, like, my self-confidence was, like, 150. Yeah. So, it didn't even bother me. But what really pushed me was that spinal cord pain, you guys. You guys. Three weeks into my weight loss journey, the pain stopped. Like, it actually stopped. I could sleep well. Being overweight is actually... It's actually something so yeah how long did it take me before i started hmm i used about one week to mentally prep myself like mentally tell myself that you know what you have to lose this weight i didn't just jump and start exercising because you guys if you've not exercised for a long time like if you know you're fat like you know you're lazy you know you're fat you know you're overweight so just working out at once is not really like it's not even easy it is actually not even easy so i took like a whole week to mentally prep myself not just mentally like i could now say no to indomie okay, i'm not eating this indomie i'm not eating this rice i'm not eating this swallow like i actually had to prep myself both, both mentally and physically because i knew that i was going in into this thing mind you when i was actually going when i decided to lose this weight i didn't think i was going to do it like i'm sure everybody around me were like mm. Yeah, because I've lost it before. Like in 2017, I lost a lot of weight. I think I'm going to put the picture somewhere here. So I lost a lot of weight. And I lost that weight because I did a ketogenic diet. I lost that weight in like 
in less than three months. I lost more than 10 kg in less than three months. So I just felt that weight loss was going to be easy this time. But I knew it was not going to be easy because I added much more weight. Do you understand? So I just had to tell myself, you know what, you can do this. Every time I wake up, I would just try to be more active. I didn't just jump into working out and dieting and eating fruit though. Like, I feel that that's what most people do. They just think that, oh, now let us just jump into I'm working out. It is actually not easy, you guys. It is not. So when I mentally prepped myself, I actually now decided on what to do. So first I knew I had to start working out and we were in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, we're still in pandemic, but that time it was really, really, really hot. So there was no gym. Like gyms were not even open. Going to a gym was never an option at that point. So, so how am I going to lose this weight? And I said exercising. So I didn't, I started exercising. So me, I'm a very gingered person. I don't like slow things. So I knew that I tried aerobics. Aerobics, they don't work for me. Honestly, people always say that aerobic aerobic walks and everything but me i just thought it was just too slow i needed something like really bish bish to get so i just i didn't even know how i stumbled on chloe ting like, i think she was trending during the pandemic she was really 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 trending so i just stumbled on her okay no my friend my friend told me that you should try chloe ting let's do this challenge so this is my friend said let's do this challenge i was like okay cool i'm going to do this chloe ting i think one month challenge or something that's how she goes there though she didn't do the challenge with me no ma i'm calling you out she didn't do the challenge with me so i was and me when i put my mind to something remember that i've been mentally prepping myself for this like for a whole week so when she just said we should do the challenge i was like i hopped on it i said it the first day i almost fainted i actually almost fainted and that's just how i started it i just tried to do more and i tried to um skip Skipping is story for another day because me and skipping, like on my Instagram page, I always complain like the ropes are always like flogging me so much. So skipping is not even really the way to go for me. But then I tried, I actually tried. I skipped. Another thing for me, jogging was not just it. You guys, I'm sure you guys are like this girl is very lazy. I'm, that's what I'm telling you that it's only God. Like, I don't even know how I lost this weight, you guys, because. I don't like some things like I'm used to treadmill. Do you get using machines to do normal cardio, not like doing it at home? So doing it at home at home was like a different ball game because it's just you and your body weight. And then I was fat, I was always running out of breath. That's how I just decided, okay, Chloe things. So I wake up in the morning, um, do Chloe things, warm up, now do the whole thing. By the time you finish even doing the whole schedule that she has, like the whole thing for the day, you're tired, you're done. So that's how I started working out. I started doing Chloe thing. Then I knew that I knew that I needed to up my cardio. Then my mom got a bicycle for me for my birthday. It was strange because she was like, mm, you want bicycle now, you're not going to use it. I'm like, on a normal day, I like treadmill. I like to use the spinning machine at the gym. So the bicycle was actually a good idea and to make me go out more. So I got a bicycle, Chloe things work out. Then after that, you guys should just go and check my Instagram page, being fit with UC. This is the handle. Like after that, I had to get weight because I felt that, okay, now, like one month in, two months in, I was getting used to the exercising. Even if Chloe Ting, every time she like ups the suffering, suffering of the exercise, but I just got used to it. So I needed to get weight and weights are freaking expensive. So what did I do? I, I got, you know, this cement thing. I'm going to put a video here so you guys can see it. This cement thing, I got it. I was doing my squats. I was doing my, like, some little strength training. And, yeah, so now, one month in, two months in, I started seeing progress. Like, and I feel that most people think that they would just lose 5 kg in one month. But me, I was really patient because I, I started seeing my results. I started seeing results. So I was really, really patient. So I hopped on the home workout gear. I bought a lot of things for home workout. Agility ladder, pilot sticks, resistance band. Um, like I bought a lot of things. I'm going to do a video for my home workout haul. You guys should just watch out for that. So yeah, that's basically it about my workout. I did more of Chloe thing and cardio then i started doing walks i actually started doing a lot of work so i started getting used to going outside because i think everything is about having a mind shift because once you tell yourself you can do it and consciously convince yourself that see i can do this thing 
I feel that that is when you would actually do it. So now, now we're going to the, everybody's favorite part because this is what did you eat? What have you been eating? What's your diet like? Do you do keto? Spoiler alert, I did not do keto. Reason because back in 2017 when I lost weight, I did keto. I lost the weight, like I lost more than 10 kg in less than three months, but it was not sustainable. Obviously, I added the weight back. So I obviously didn't do keto. I did more of intermittent fasting. So now, when I decided to diet, I didn't want to just restrict myself to fruits because I'm not really a fruit person. I'm not a fruit person. So I decided to eat what I like. And left to me, what I like is Indomie spaghetti and the rest. But I had to cut off noodles. I had to cut off spaghetti. I had to cut off a lot of things. Like now, we have lost like bulk of the weight. I've, I still cut it off, but I can eat it once in a while. Back then, it was like a no-no. Like no spaghetti, no pasta, no eba, no semo. Like carbs that you know that um, these things are actually yam. I cut off yam. I cut off... Actually, I cut off a lot of things thinking about it now. I don't really like some fruits. Like, I maybe I like like four fruits out of the numerous fruits we have in this world. But I decided to just restrict myself to like eating fruits when I'm hungry. And I started intermittent fasting. I said intermittent fasting and... Sorry. And the thing is about intermittent fasting is that your body actually gets used to it. Honestly, you guys, I'm currently, it's been six months i've been on intermittent fasting and it's been amazing i had to get hungry you guys i'm going to do a video on my intermittent fasting experience you guys should not worry just subscribe subscribe there's a lot of gist going on on this channel <laughs> thanks to my sister she introduced me to explain calorie counting for me and that was like the best thing that happened in my weight loss journey calorie counting you guys then now I cut off carbs, remember, initially, but when I understood calorie counting, I now knew that, okay, I knew the amount of calories I'm to eat in a day, so I can be on a calorie deficit. You guys, knowledge is power. For weight loss, knowledge is actually power. So now, still talking about food, me, I like swallow. I'm an African Nigerian girl, like, I like my swallow i like my okra you guys let me know if you guys are like me like do you like swallow because me i just need a ha how will i cut off a bar semo and a goosey soup and all those things you guys i actually did not cut them off well to be specific i cut off certain types of soups that are very high in calories like a goosey soup is really 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 high i cut off a goosey soup so i was eating more of the ones like with veggies and less palm oil so i can eat I eat like okra, vegetable soup, you get those kind of things. But you know, a goosey soup has like serious calories, so I cut that off. And I also started taking cabbage swallow. So remember, I did keto before, so I already knew how to like substitute some like things, like infuse little keto things. Hello, you guys, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to make cabbage swallow, you guys, let me know in the comment section. So I also cut off milk, you guys, like. I'm a cereal lover, not even only cereal lover, I'm lactose intolerant here, but I like milk, it's so funny. I take pap, you guys, I know how pap is so high in calories. I take pap with thick milk and sugar, I cut that off, I cut off fizzy drinks. Fizzy drinks was actually really hard for me because fizzy drinks, me and fizzy drinks, I like this. <laughs> but I cut off fizzy drinks, I cut off milk, I cut off sugar, I cut off cereals, you guys, I cut off cereal, that was a really tough one. But for counting my calories, I got a weighing scale. This is a weighing scale right here to know the exact grams of what I'm eating. Then I put it in my app to weigh. So I think calorie counting, intermittent fasting, and home workouts were like the game changers for me because when I just realized I could work out at home, ah, you guys everything changed currently now little updates um i'm no more since there's still a pandemic here but i'm no more working out at home i have registered in the gym and this is it will be two weeks i registered in the gym it's been really amazing you guys so going to the gym right now if you see me at the gym people will be like wow we are so fit i'm like i'll just show them my video like i'll show them this video i'm like you guys this is who this is this is who you're looking at like i'm not even done 
but this is where i'm coming from and i'm not going back there another thing that helped me lose weight was taking pictures you guys i took pictures every single day and when i'm discouraged taking pictures actually helped a lot because when i'm discouraged i just go and start doing this collage you guys just see just look at my collages like i was just doing like collage you just see my diff the difference in my body and that really motivated me so if you're going to go on a weight loss journey please take a lot of pictures like take a lot of pictures but yeah that is really how i lost this um this weight let me know if you have any questions please just drop it in the comment and don't forget to subscribe like give this video a thumbs up and um what do you even say again um, i'm going to put the links to all my instagram pages in the description box i have a fitness diary on instagram it's being featured you see you guys i literally post anything and everything like like as it's happening i'm posting it on my stories what i'm going to the gym what i'm eating you guys being fit with you see that is the page for you to follow don't forget to subscribe <laughs> bye guys